Back at it again for CHP Altadena. Got a call from all coaches to assist them in this matter. They got a real bad ship to load, real heavy uh, lumber. Looks like they tried to use strap and it wasn't working, so he went to use the chain. Um, the thing is, it's not gonna do anything because because when you lift up with that, there's no way to put it back on. You're not gonna be able to lift with that and and, and swing it to push everything back. So we're gonna switch. I told him if he could park his truck here, he's gonna use his truck and work on this. Pull out the bumper from the tire to move it and then hook up to it. I don't believe it runs, but the airlines are intact, I checked. Then I'm gonna take this part. I'm gonna go forward and get it off the side. Uh, I'm gonna use my two foot recovery straps. And once I'm hooked up to it, I'm gonna just lift the entire two pallets in the air. And they got another trailer there. Uh, this guy's gonna pull forward. Then I put it on the other trailer. That's the only way to do this. And then they can worry about fixing it with the forklift later. Put straps I think like once or twice. They're these suckers man. These are one foot wide, these are two foot wide. They open up, they're beautiful. Okay, I got my two foot straps, two foot wide straps out. They're 16 feet in length. So I have my synthetic super slings, one on each end for an extra five feet per side. I'm just gonna pull up, get this bad boy off the side. My outriggers. Right. Oh, good catch! I didn't. Let me check the other side. I can bend that. Yeah. When I'm done with the load ship, I'll pull it back. Yeah, because this might bend it too. So he got rear-ended and front-ended someone. Best of both worlds, right? Uh, just to touch up on the straps I was talking about earlier, I got this on the recommendation of Sean Van Lingen at Van Lingen Tall. Two foot wide. They're beautiful, man. So setting up. set of my outriggers yet because I want to put my boom 90 degrees to make sure I'm dead even that seems about right I'll just do it now I'll get back to you guys on when I'm setting up the truck okay guys so I just kind of in a rush Let me, uh, I got that side rig I got this side rig we just even it out I got my ladder on the other side. You know what? I don't need it for now. Let me uh, just climb up here. Now, you know what? Don't be a hero, Josh. Skip the ladder.
got it hooked up to my white line. This is uh, my initial lift. So I can use the pool line to get under this side. Shack was up on this side. Looks like I gotta go down more. And I don't like this angle. I'm gonna get one more strap. another strap under here you guys can see it's completely blocked so almost all right I'm liking that I'm liking that a lot I don't know if I'll be able to do a another two foot strap but I can use my 32 footer orange strap I'm gonna have to go a little bit higher yep I'm comfortable with that and I'm happy picture so when the company says why so much I can detail them how it happened look at you Hulk all off the ground now these ones are not too feet wide but that's okay I don't need it to be are 32 feet long which is just what the doctor ordered on this case so let me get my shackles and prep this and I'll come back I'm on the inside of this. Gotta be careful with my fingers. 
So go up on the white more. Okay. Get more on the white. There we go. So this side's good. Let me just do a check on the other side. Sorry. Close call. Like that. So I'm on the outside of that. Alright Josh. Going up with the blue. Let me see how even they are. Not bad. I think I'm ready. this out of the way just for now boys I believe we have lift off all right now let's stop and do a walk around This thing's all kinds of messed up, man. For safety, I'm having CHP kill that lane for sure. I can't, I can't risk it. Ready? Good to let them through. They're good. It's safe. You want to it? You want to yes. Where do you want me to put it? You want to put it right here on the shoulder? Right here? That's fine with me. Because it's going to go on their, on their truck, right? That's, is it going to go on your truck? Where, what are we doing with this? What, what you could do is let's get this truck out of the way and swap it with that one. Or if you want, man, you could just back, back up, up over the shoulder. Or here. Are you ever to back up over the center divider? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's very short. Let's do that so we can keep keep it safe. Okay. Yeah. Right, just back up right here so that your trailer is centered so you can just rotate and drop it on your trailer. Now ideally I would have had both of my uh, two foot white straps. Here, let me uh, let that on the white. Kind of even it out. There. I would have normally had two, 20, uh, two foot white straps and get it on both ends, but that was impossible. Well, you improvised. You're doing good, bro. Keep going. You know if he wants to load in the back or the front? Anywhere. Middle, I think. The middle? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you're good there. <laughs> bro. It's going to sit right here in the middle. You're good right there, okay. What's your sit on my Even Josh, we'll pull up on the blue. Get it straight. Oh, I'm gonna need my wood. Hey, do you have any wood? Cause I'm gonna, we're gonna have to block it with wood, man. I'm about to use my people. Right Throw them up there and I'll help you. Completely forgot about that, so I can get my straps out. And so they can take it off with the portal faster. Well, I'm back. Uh, CHP had me do this quick. I forgot to hit record. I'm gonna leave my straps on here for now. Just so this guy can get off the freeway. We throw two for safety for now. And I'm gonna get my straps when he pulls forward to adjust. <clears throat> huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, much better. They're almost touching now at top. You're doing good. Hulk. Let's put you away, beast. Yeah, I gotta tow it. I'm gonna tow it.
That's funny, I came to assist another company and they're doing the whole thing and I'm throwing it. Where's it going? Where are we towing it to? San Diego? It's a lot of money, man. You better tell your company ahead of time. It's gonna be a lot of money. When you pull forward to finish up the straps, I'm gonna take these off just for now so you can pull forward. San Diego, about 200 miles from where I'm at. Okay guys, I uh, got the load done. Now let's just uh, put my truck away and then I'll come back when I'm gonna do the tow. I'll prep it, drive shaft, all that good stuff. I had to do a little bit of winching on the rear end. He got rear-ended, so I had to pull out the, the fenders up on the rear tire. <clears throat> I'll do the same for this after I hook up. Let me just pull it off the side of the freeway for Chippy. All kinds of mess. Here's my little baby Miller Force. These puppies are awesome. actually told in these videos but today I'm a one-man team I almost forgot the whole kit toe I'm gonna just get them off the freeway. This is good for now. Let's see how much air homeboy has. Whoa! Talk about take pride in your ride, buddy. Let me get the coronavirus in here. Oh yeah, of course it's on there. Why would there be? Why would there be Josh? Really? You had to ride the lane that hard? Even truckers don't respect you, man. the hood it looks all messed up I'll just go straight to the tank for now very happy oh and I didn't get this on video but when he got rear-ended if I showed you guys where this was dug in there I used the rotator to pull it out a couple inches oh my stupid GoPro it's 
said air format memory card it wouldn't work no more so do a quick walk around with my phone Hulk is ready to tow drive shaft removed and tied up got all my lines looking good I might say hopefully the memory card is not too damaged and I can pull some footage from this but I'm out of here man this freeway sucks peace